Hey everyone, I'm going to show you one of my favorite exercises to take workload away from an overuse injury of the knee called chondromalacia patella. Hey everyone, my name is Sebastian. I'm part of locally world famous chiropractors in Costa Mesa, California here. We oftentimes treat problems like chondromalacia patella of the knee, which is pain underneath the kneecap, in a way where we're just working around the knee. Things like quad sets, hamstring curls, are all can be very useful, but one of the most useful things is to take workload away from the knee. And we can do that with a simple exercise called a side plank. I'm going to show you how we do it here at Performance Place, which is a little bit different how they might do it at other places. There's a few variations and regressions, progressions that we can do. I'm going to show you one version today, but remember, if this doesn't work for you or it's too hard or too easy, there is a progression or regression. But that's where the magic of customizing your, your uh, recovery program comes into play. So usually I'll have people start with the symptomatic need down. And I'll have them uh, go into a staggered stance just like so. The top foot is in front. Generally, the top foot is not doing a bunch of work, but it's there to help out with balance and so on. If you have a problem with your shoulder, a good way to mitigate that problem is to push the floor away and imagine there's a fire here. You try to keep away from the fire embers at all times during the exercise. There is no break unless you want to burn yourself. And so you're going to be here. Hand onto uh, flank, breathe into your fingers, and then try to form a straight line from your shoulder to your hip pocket to your sock on the bottom foot right here. You hold for about five seconds or so. Slowly lower down. Remember the embers are there, and then you're back up again. So I'm going to keep going, and you may choose to do these with me. And generally speaking, we go for this type of pace. Five seconds on or so, 10 seconds maybe, slowly drop, pause for three, two, one, and back up. Now I'm gonna keep going, and some of you may be thinking, well, isn't it just better to hold it all at one time to work on endurance? Not necessarily. For, for, for a lot of people who have problems like this, they end up having uh, issues when they hold it too long. So you wanna make sure that you actually mitigate that risk, but still get the benefit of the endurance part of the exercise, especially with something like an offloading protocol where we're trying to put the workload of the knee up into the hip or core when you're running to address things like hip drop. Uh, the best thing to do is just go into short manageable reps like this and the body will catch up over time. Now, I'm not gonna say there's a magic number in head that we're looking for, but pretty much all recreational runners should be able to get about a minute's worth of a side plank from the feet to the, to, the, to the elbows, generally speaking. And I'm not putting anyone down if they can't. This is just something you can work on. But something like a side plank is one of the easiest ways to mitigate knee problems associated to running, chondromalacia patella, even meniscal injuries that are non-traumatic. So if you can't do this, that's okay. Just think of this as an easy win of something that you could do. But Remember, this is not a magic exercise. This is not one that you need to do forever. There is a progression to this exercise which actually comes in the form of something like a suitcase carry or a loaded carry. So if you guys are looking for help about what to do moving forward or you're having problems solving these issues on your own, just reach out to us. We do have virtual and in-person services. I think we're pretty good at knees by now. We see a lot of knee conditions. We see a lot of hips, a lot of quads, a lot of hamstrings and so on. So we would love to help you out. Reach out and we can set up a consultation to figure out if we can actually help you. And then we'll figure out what that may look like, what your customized program may look like moving forward. We'll see you guys next time. Take care, make sure you subscribe to the channel.